So how's it going guys and welcome back to another video to my channel. Today's video guys is going to be another match reaction video where Luton Town we play Nottingham Forest at home on a Wednesday night at 7.45pm kickoff in an EFO Championship fixture. It's a massive massive game tonight guys and Luton need to try and get three points after winning at the weekend. We need to try and remain basically in the top ten. I believe we're ninth or tenth at the moment and Norton Forest aren't having the best of season so far. They're in the relegation zone. Obviously they brought in their new manager and I believe they're starting to pick up form now and their team overall is very very good and I'm just hoping since they haven't had the best starts and they're near the relegation zone, I'm hoping that they can continue that form against Luton tonight and Luton can continue with their form where we're playing very, very decent football. Now, guys, for tonight's lineup, it's very, very interesting. It's practically the exact same as last Saturday's lineup. The only difference is Elite Lee's come in for Kazinga Lawalawa, Joe Moore has been dropped and Glen Ray's come back in. Obviously, Glen Ray got the knock to the nose, hence why he wasn't playing last Saturday. And finally, one more change has been made, and that's James Collins has come in as well. Danny Hilton has left the squad as well, obviously, for Collins coming back from obviously suffering with coronavirus for two weeks and he was quarantining but that's today's lineup it's a strong lineup but personally i would have liked to see joe morrill play again dewsbury hall's playing again tonight which i'm happy to see but i still thought joe morrill played brilliant the other day harry cornick still injured james brief still injured so on the bench we still got like the, the likes of jordan clark personally i think tonight if i had to make a prediction i'm gonna go with a i'm gonna be confident i'm gonna go over 2-1 win to luton let's get straight into the game now hopefully luton can get a result against forest and yeah, let's do this. And guys, the game's just kicked off and it's going to be interesting to see what happens tonight. La Taylor's player, former Charlton player. They've got Sammy Amiobi, who used to play for uh, Bolton. They've got Jack Colback, who used to play for Newcastle. Obviously, I lost Matty Cash, but Nottingham Forest has still got a very strong team. They've also got Anthony Knockart, who obviously was a former Brighton and uh, Fulham player. And obviously, they've appointed Chris Hewton as their manager, former Brighton manager, uh, after Lamucci, uh, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, left the club. So it'll be interesting to see what happens tonight. I'm sorry the focus is a bit off, but obviously when I do film these uh, games late at night, the lighting isn't exactly brilliant. So I do apologise for that. I may keep having to try and focus my face, but let's see how this game goes. Shoot! Yes! Come on, is it offside? No, man, it's a goal! That's here now, there he's right there, and it's 1 0 to Luton, let's go! It's a corner whipped in, it's a bit scrambled in the box, somehow Pearson gets to it, it lays off to Ray from um, I think Craney, and he puts it in the bottom left hand corner. Luton 1, not in Forest nil. come on. So, guys, I'm sorry if there's been a lack of clips this half, but Forest have got a red card. Basically, I'm not sure who the player was, I believe it was the number 44 for Forest. He comes in at Craney as Craney won back the ball and he has high stud shoving and it clips Craney's ankle. I don't say his name. Is it Iono? Iono? I'll put probably a text on the screen of his actual name. So big, big decision made there by the referee and hopefully it's going to help Luton in this game. So guys, it's half time and it's currently 1-0 to Luton. Forrest have had a few chances where the ball's been whipped in to Lartail in the box but he hasn't had the composure or the actual ability to shoot the ball to create a chance. I believe Luton have had two shots so far and Forest have had none. Practically nothing else happening in this game. Personally, I think Dewey's rules played very well today. Uh, he's had a few nice touches in the midfield. Saluga has played well coming out of the box, going for the ball, um, like he did with one chance when Lyle Taylor was throwing goal, and he uh, swept for the ball and got it clear. But there's nothing else to really talk about, as I said, and let's just see how Luton can play with uh, the advantage of Forrest being a man down. And guys, second half has just kicked off. They have brought on Carl Jenkinson, the former Arsenal player, who was a fullback, and they brought off Sammy Amiobi, who I thought was one of Forrest's best players in the first half. He created quite a few chances, but we're just going to have to see uh, if Jenkinson can help them defensively. Let's see how Luton can do in the second half. Oh, crossing them, uh, Norrington Davis there, and the keeper just catches it with ease, but so far, Luton have been on top. Good ball here from uh, Dewsbury Hill, and then we tried countering but it didn't work out. So guys, Forrest have just scored its 1-1 in his 64th minute. It's absolutely poor, in my opinion, from Norrington Davis and Pele. They just allowed Cyrus Christie to have space to whip it in, and then it was a back header from Glen Ray. The man that scored the goal, scored an own goal. It's just not good enough at the moment, in my opinion. So guys, two substitutes have come on. Them substitutes being Jordan Clark's come on for Elliot Lee, and secondly, Loala's come on for Tom Lockyer. I believe we're playing at four at the back now. Uh, with Lockyer coming off, then obviously we're probably going to push Loa Loa and maybe Jordan Clark out wide or even 
potentially have normal sort of diamond formation with Lawala up top of Collins and then Jordan Clark in behind. Which you got to see, I guess, uh, how these two substitutes impact the game. So far, Forrest have dominated Luton. So yeah, let's just see how this game plays out. Oh, shot over the bar from Sonny Bradley. It was a corner. He came back out to the right and we whipped it in and Sonny headed it. He got a deflection to his feet and he hits it there. And he just, it's, it's just gone over the bar. But we're getting back into this game now, the substitutes. I'm hoping to see maybe one more come on, but we never do more than two subs, so probably won't happen. And I was wrong. We've made the third and final substitution. George Moncur has come on for, in my opinion, the man of the match today, Dewsbury Hill. He's been outstanding. I personally thought Ray or Pele should have come off instead because they've both been poor today, besides Ray obviously getting the goal. And yeah, let's just see how he adapts to the team, I guess. <gasps> Oh, oh, what are you doing? Edge of the box from a corner with Ray, and he just skies it over, and that's the chance there to make it 2 1. Oh no, Jordan Clark. Long ball, and he shoots, and the keeper saves it. That was the best opportunity we're going to get. That should have been 2 1, and it's full time. It has ended 1 1 at Kenneth Road, and me and Dad are going to quickly evaluate the game. So, Dad. Your thoughts on the game today? I was say, once you go down to 10 men, we should have really took, took charge of it. We just relaxed in the middle of the park, didn't we? Glenn Ray was doing so well, then he just started having a bit of a mare, didn't he? Uh, too much time on the ball, losing the ball. Obviously, giving, giving the own goal away, but... Yeah, we, we should dominate. I, I don't know about the, some of the substitutions myself. Just trying to change it up a little bit. I, I, don't, know, I, don't, I don't think your substitutions were good enough for me. Yeah, personally, I'm happy with the point. I think that is too, because at the end now, I think it's kind of embarrassing the fact that Forrest are a man down here and they were playing outstanding. They were coming back into the game. Obviously, Chris Hughes is a very good manager, so his tactics obviously helped with that situation. They got the goal, which was very lucky. And the weird thing today was Ray was one of the best players on the pitch. And he turned out to be one of the worst players simply because he scored the own goal. But forgetting all that, that's going to be the end of today's video. Hope you have enjoyed. Overall, it's an okay performance from Luton, but I would have loved to see us get the win. But I'll take the point today. So, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace. Yeah.